search. Now, what is the meaning of breadth first search? BFS. Now, this BFS, breadth first search, is a very simple searching algorithm. You might have learned this particular searching algorithm during algorithm classes. This particular searching algorithm is, uh, is starting from the initial node and it will explore the nodes which are the successor nodes but in the in the uh, form of one depth at a time one depth at the time one depth at, at a time so if we have these type of graph which is there So to reaching the goal, what we have to do? C. We'll start with S, right? We'll explore this. Let's say this is S1, S2, and S3. So after that, we'll explore S1, S2, and S3. Now after that, what we do is we'll explore S4 and S5. So what we do is we'll explore S4 and S5. And then at last, we'll get will get the goal by exploring this. Let's say this is S6. Now in, in one depth means S, one depth is this, that we have to explore all the node which is in one depth. Then we'll see all the nodes which is in two depth. Then we'll see all the node which is in third depth. Then we'll see all the nodes which is in fourth depth. Getting it? So to reaching the solution, we have to explore all the nodes which are in one depth. That is called breadth first search. That is called breadth first search. Okay. So the breadth first search is a simple strategy in which the root node is expanded first. Then all the successor of the root node is expanded. Next, then their successor and so on. In general, all the nodes are expanded at a given depth in the search tree before any node at the next node are expanded. So as, as we have just discussed, it will be explored in the form of depth. So first it will mean a zero depth, which is the root node. And then all the nodes which are from the root node, which are in the one depth, then we'll go to all the nodes which are in the second depth, the fourth, the third, then fourth. In that way, we'll go on till we'll reach the solution or till all the nodes will be expanded. Okay, both the criteria is your so both the criteria is your uh, uh, what uh, it will complete your algorithm, it will return the solution or it will be a fake. Breadth first search is an instance of the general graph search algorithm in which the shallowest unexpanded node is chosen for expansion. This is uh, achieved very simple by using the first in first out queue for the frontier. So for the frontier node, what we use is we'll use first in first out queue or first in first out uh, uh, structure, data structure to expand. So let's go to the algorithm and try to understand this, how this algorithm is going to work. So breadth first search will take the problem, whatever the problem you have in the form of a state space diagram. Then it will choose the node, a node with a state, initial state, or whose path cost is zero. So I think you are getting it. What, what, if, what is there in the node? Node is nothing but your first node or the root node. If problem dot goal state, node dot state, then return the solution. If your node, which is your initial node is your goal node, then we'll return the solution. Otherwise, we'll put that particular node into the frontier list, a FIFO queue with node as the only element. So we, earlier we have the frontier uh, uh, frontier data structure, which is the only node we have. 
then we have uh, the explored list which is right now the empty one okay so you just see uh, that particular four five line again so the first one is uh, your node so which node will choose the node which is a root node then the second what we will choose if the uh, problem or the goal test so what we choose here is so we are going to choose here that particular node whether that particular node is a goal node or not if it is a goal node then what we'll do is we'll return that particular as a solution because we find that particular node which is the initial node as the goal node next next is what the frontier frontier will be uh, uh, as i told you it is a data structure and in that particular data structure we'll put the node so whatever node we have we'll put that node into the uh, frontier node oh, sorry uh, yeah frontier list and in the fee for manner fee for manner first in first out manner means whatever the node that will explore first will come first whatever the node will explore last will be taken last then we have the explored which is initially which is empty so let's take an example so that you can understand this particular structure very easily so let's say this is s this is s1 s2 s3 and here we have let's say s4 and s5 Let's assume that S5 is your goal. Yeah. The how this particular will work. So it says that first we have to find out the sorry. So first we have the node. Node, what is it there in the node? S, S, because S is your uh, a node with a state. Problem dot initial node, whose path cost is zero. So node is your S. Now S is a goal node. No, S is not a goal node because S is not at all equal to S five. Next frontier. So we have the frontier list and explode. So we have the explode list. Okay. Let's see. A FIFO queue with node as the only element. Which node? S is the only element. So S is will be there. If empty, which one is empty? Frontier is empty, then return failure. Frontier is empty? No, frontier is not empty. So this is not going to work. Then node pop frontier. Will pop the frontier. So pop means will we'll just take the node, whatever is there in the front, because it is a FIFO. First in, first out is just like a queue. So whatever is coming first will remove first. So this will be removed, will be popped, and this will become the uh, node. So node will be S. Add node dot state state to explode. So this node has to be put into the explode. For each action in problem dot action node dot state do. So in this S will perform action all the action which is there so let's say after performing action one will reach s1 after performance action two will reach s2 after performance action three we reach s3 then let's say we perform first so what will happen is child node problem node action will have the child node so first the child node that we have get we got is 
S1. If child dot state is not in explode or frontier because S1 is not in the frontier or not in the explode, then what we'll do? If problem dot goal test here only we'll do the goal test. S1 is a goal or not? So S1 is not a goal. S1 is not pi. Then this is not will not return the solution. Then what we'll do is we'll insert that particular child into the frontier. So this particular S1 will be inserted here. Then again, the loop will be taken care. All the action will be performed. Let's say action one, two, threes are there. So we'll perform all the action. We'll get S1 first, then we'll get S2, then we'll get S3. And all the time we have to test. So child, child will be previously S1, then child will be S2, then child will be S3. Again, all the time we have to compare the goal. So right now the child is S3 and S3 we have put it here because it is not there in the frontier or not there in the expand, right? Then this loop is over, then go to the upper one. If frontier is empty, frontier is empty. No, frontier is not empty. Then what will pop? Will pop the frontier. So this we have to pop S1. After popping, add the state into the explode. This S1 will put into the explode and then will again expand with the action. Let's say action A1 is taking to S4, action A2 is taking to S5. So for action, action A1, S4 is a child. So right now S4 is a child. S4 will you compare with the goal? No, it is not a goal. Then we'll put into the frontier list. Then we have to go for action two. And it is giving the child S5. S5 will compare with the goal is a goal. Yes, it is a goal. Then we'll check we'll, this solution is, is nothing but your child. So child is what? Child is what? S5. So S5 is a solution. So that will return. So now S5 will be written as a solution. So S5 is my solution. Now how I, I reached S5. So you just refer the explode explode list. So in the explode list, what we have done is S5 will be reached by S1 and S1 has been reached with S, right? So this explode will tell you that how we are reaching there, how we are going there. Okay. This is your breadth first search. It is in the form of uh, the diagram also it is written. Let's say this one, A is your uh, node, initial node. Then A will be expanded with B and C. Now B is the next frontier node to explore. Then B has been explored. Then next frontier node to explore is C. In that way, it will go on. So we'll explore in the breadth. So here you can see it is explored in, this is the zero, uh, zero level. Now this is explored in first level and then will explode in the second level. In that way it will explode. The, the, the thing will go on. So the breadth first search on, uh, on a simple binary tree at each state, the node to be expanded next is indicated by the marker. So here with the help of the marker, we, we can see that which particular node has to be explored next. Time and memory required for the breadth first search. The space complexity is what is it? The branch factor and the uh, D is for the depth. So, order of B and D is your space complexity. Two lessons can be learned from a table. So, here we have the table which will tell if we have the depth two and the number of nodes are 110 then it is taking 0.11 millisecond and the memory it is taking is 104 kilobyte. So if let's say one uh, node is one byte and the information we have is node, we have uh, frontier, we have explore, all the details are there. So it is said, saying that when the depth will go on, the number of node will be explored exponentially. So this is increasing exponentially. The time is also exponential as you can see and the memory is also exponential. 
so it is dep depend upon the depth so if in the depth we have a large amount of uh, child in each depth so it will take a lot of time the memory required for a bigger problem for breadth first search that is been expand and that is the execution time one might wait 13 days for the solution to an important problem with the search depth of 12 so for 12 Twelve depth. How much days it is taking? It is taking around thirteen days. But no personal computer has the petabyte of memory. See, petabyte of memory is required in in the depth twelve. If we have the uh, solution in depth twelve, then these are the memory. That is the time that is taken. But no personal computer has the petabyte of uh, memory. It would take. Fortunately, other strategy require. less memory so what it is saying that it is saying that that when we increase the depth the the time complexity is increased as well as memory to tackle that particular problem will also be increased that is the conclusion of breadth first search okay so breadth first search is taking so much uh time so much uh, memory if will increase the depth if will increase the depth okay